Okay, so excuse my hair guys, I just washed it. So it's really booby right now. Um, and I'm probably not gonna flat iron it until tomorrow. Anyway, so first things first, because I always forget to do this in the beginning of my freaking videos. Subscribe, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, join the family, whatever. Also, um, go ahead and hit that bell so you know when it can upload. But I'm not gonna waste your time because this has been like the most requested video for the longest. And it is time for the Q&A. So, the first question. Okay, so in regards to my hair. Now, the whole time while I was a BMT, honestly, I, I kept that in the ponytail. You don't, you don't really get too much time to actually do your hair. So it's kind of one of those just quick throw it up in a ponytail and then on the weekend, if you can, when you're done doing what you're supposed to do for that day, just slick it, put it back down in the ponytail or twist it up or do braids. I know recently, yeah, recently they let natural haired women wear their hair naturally. Um, to a certain extent, it still has to be in regs. Regs meaning it can't go past your collar, uniform collar. Um, you really can't have too many flyaways. I'd just say the best thing to do is just slick your hair down. As far as wetting my hair, I mean, whenever you got the opportunity to do your hair, it's one of those things that you're a bun or a ponytail, not even a ponytail, a bun is your best friend. Unless you have a bob and that bob is like not too high fashion and it doesn't come past your collar, you should be fine. But honestly, um, I didn't get a chance to tend to my hair the way I wanted to in BMT. So to answer your question, it's one of those things that if you're quick with it and you know what you're doing with your hair and what your hair is, is quick to do in a sense, like if you know what your hair takes to immediately, then yeah. You can do that but for me personally girl i bought some freaking eco styling gel I had like three or four do rags and i was straight for a good four days straight until i had to like wash my hair which you'll suddenly get to do as much as you want to because you don't have much time in the shower i think max is like 12 minutes in the shower and that's just a big lenient because i can really be like 10 minutes or less yeah i'd say the fun parts of BMT and tech school is really just the people that you meet. Um, BMT, I love doing Jody's. Um, it is. How can I say it? Like, it's it's really just the people you meet that makes your experience in the military fun. Um, you're put in a stressful environment and it's meant to try to break you or try to see if you will break um but for the most part i would have to say it's the fun doing the jellies was fun uh i had clowns for friends and then when i got to tech school going out even though shepherd is if you've been to shepherd you know about shepherd shepherd is freaking lame um there's nothing to do there plain and simple um but when you do movies going out to eat but it's really your friends is what make it your women you know those things it's really military unless, you, unless you're getting stationed in like las vegas or something like that for tech school which i doubt would happen for tech school um it's the people you meet granted i know the person that asked me this question um due to the fact that people are protected by the ucmj That sucks. I was, I was like this. Can you even see that? Like that, like that fucking close. <sighs> that close. I mm, malfunction. Straight malfunction. I'm telling you, I. People think because that they're in a uniform, you know, I'm not gonna get in that. I'm not gonna do that. How you gonna do it? I'm not gonna say anything about it. Just know that people will try you because they're in the military and they think that they can't get their stuff clapped to. Pretty much. Same thing. Um, PT, if you didn't work out prior to you leaving, can be difficult, but it really wasn't. Um, how often did I have PT and BMT? Six days a week. Honestly, um, technically seven. If you had to do, uh, what was it one by threes, three by threes? What if, I don't remember what they were called anymore. Um, 
and that's if your MTIs gave it out to you. But we had it every day. We had um, one day will be a run day, which will be you running for 27, I think 33 minutes straight. And then the other day will be a strength day. Uh, strength days are pretty much, if I can remember, you had to do push-ups, sit-ups, uh, squat thrusts, inverted triangle, oh, the freak, they're called pyramid, pyramid push-ups. Um, glute bridges. Uh, I should have just went down the road exactly what we did, but that's, it's stuff like that really it is. Strength days weren't that bad. They weren't even that hard. Run days, they might get you. Specifically now, if you're in Texas with the heat, it's going to get you, but it really wasn't that bad. Uh, you'll get used to it, honestly. You'll, you'll know exactly what PT specific strength day or run day you have that day because you'll have a whole calendar of what the freak you're going to do for that whole week. Um, yeah, uh, but it wasn't bad. My girl, Aminu Acid. Um, she'll know if she watches this because I can come talk about Um, the clown of the group was definitely you. It's definitely you, Aminu, at uh, BMT. As far as Shepard, I would have to give that to my idiot friends, Banks and Bond. They are some freaking idiots. Yep, and I'm name dropping. Also, they follow me. So guys, if you see me tagging anything, those are the two idiots. You'll probably see them in stories or whatever. But yeah, those ones. So you got Aminu. She's... She was a clown, but she was freaking hilarious. She was so positive and I love that about her. Um, and those two banks and bonds. Fucking idiots, that's all I can say, fucking idiots. Um, as far as what makes the experience, like I said back in the other person that asked me that, it's really who you you hang out with. Was, those people can really shape the way your experience goes at BMC or tech school because Lord knows at times I was just like, I'm just gonna be here to do what I gotta do and then I'm gonna be out no that wasn't the case because i ended up being a dorm chief an airman leader which i got cut short because of some earrings but we're not gonna talk about that and then i was also a class leader but yeah your friends they make that experience that they're freaking hilarious now if i would never do it again no not ever mm -mm. but i'm glad i did it but those people i'm glad i met them because i met some lifelong friends and so this day they they keep me they keep me laughing they, they really do especially banks and bond you guys are fucking idiots moving on i am amazing i am great i am the bee's knees if i do say so myself um it depends on where you're from i would love to meet you too just so I can see what your experience is like. Hopefully you upload it to your YouTube channel so I can see how your experience is. No two experiences are the same. I can honestly say that. Um, but yeah, thank you, babe. I appreciate it. So please keep me informed on how your experience goes after you go and after you finish your course. Um, only getting 10 minutes in the morning. That is actually very much so true. Okay, so Reveille goes off at 5.45 in the morning. I should know because my watch is still set to 5.45. Um, then we have to fall out under the atrium by 5.55. And as far as getting ready, like they'll be like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Turn the lights, open the day room door. Uniform of the day is ABUs, Apex, watch cap and gloves. So what it is, you just hurry up and get dressed. And then if your MCI is anything like mine, you need to hurry up and get the beds done, or at least some beds done. So we'll probably just rip off the first sheet and then lay down the first two sheets. And then everybody fall out on the wall so we can fall out for Reveille, where we would go downstairs, listen to the, say, the hydration schedule, drink, what is it? Three quarters of one water bottle per day, not to see 16 water bottles, no. Three, hold on, drink three quarters of one water bottle per hour, not to see one. Hold on, why am I getting this wrong? Drink three quarters of one water bottle per hour, not to see 16 water bottles per day. There we go. That's what it is. Um, and then they'll go into all trainees are reminded to utilize the handrail when they approach any stairs, I guess. It's always something stupid. Then it goes into, all right, you're going to sing the first verse of the Airman song, followed by the Airman's Creed, followed by the squadron chant. And I was a part of the 331st, you know, Wolfpack. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that, that 10 minute thing is actually true. And you don't want to be late because you're going to get on your face and then you're not going to do it. The 10 minutes is true. It's true. Yeah, most definitely. Overall, honestly, I can say I enjoyed my experience going to BMT. Um, when I first got off the bus, I remember the whole ride there because when I finally like landed in San Antonio and we got on the bus and we got to our destination, I was expecting to get yelled at coming off the bus, but no, it was mad quiet. It was mad late. They gave us box nasties. If you join, you know exactly what the freak box nasties are. Um, sat in the was it the PRC. Oh my God, for hours, and you could not use your phone, nor could you go to sleep. You were in trouble. And that's the same day I believe we got our backpacks. My black backpack. That's I think that's out front. I'm not gonna go get it because it's full of like clothes. Because I just got back home. Um, but that backpack um your water bottle which you cannot go anywhere without that water bottle you will get your 341 pulled i no longer have any more 341 so i'm not even gonna show it um you when you join you'll know exactly what they are because you're gonna hate them um they were big on you learning your memory work asap like you need to learn your ranks asap you need to know who your chain of command was um otherwise you're getting trouble for that too but as far as my experience i was I was dorm chief, so I had a lot of responsibilities. Um, it would get stressful at times because you're dealing with a whole bunch of people that don't know you from the beginning and then you get chose for this position. They feel like, well, why did she get chosen? I could do her job better than her or him. And, you know, pretty much like it's, it's just one of those things that, oh, speaking of dorm chief, I was initially a child runner. Do not, and I repeat, do not be a child runner if you do not want to get chewed out because child runner oh jesus i remember it like it was yesterday because he asked me he's like who are my confident speakers and one of my friends and i we raised our hand they like oh, me and he's like great you're gonna be a child runner so i was like oh shit i was told not to be that as soon as i joined so basically what it is is you go out for child and eat that and you got to go up to the snake pit and in front of a whole bunch of mti's and you can't study, you can't, you can't mess up. You have to know exactly what you're saying. Like for instance, it was, um, you walk in and sir, ma'am, flight is prepared to enter the dining facility from the east, west, south, whatever side you were coming in. And you, they, whatever they say to you, no matter whether they say see them with swag or bring them in, you have to say, bring them in. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Do not add anything else. Like, don't be like, yes, sir. Bring them in. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. They will, they will light you up. He's like, I did not say, yes, sir. Bring them in. I said, bring them in. So basically what it is, is you need to just repeat exactly what they said to the T. Um, then you go back outside and then you call your flight in and then go back into your second report saying, sir or ma'am, flight so-and-so has entered the dining facility from the east side. Well, the first trainee from flight so-and-so has entered the dining facility from the east side. And then, oh, by the way, you are a trainee from the get-go. Your first name is trainee until you're allowed to put on your rank, if you have rank. Well, everybody has rank, but still. Um, yeah, but my experience, BMT experience, I actually missed it when I got the Shepherd because I was like, BMT was more fun than Shepherd was. Um, I don't miss it for the fact that I could have my phone and you always had to have a wingman of the same gender and you really couldn't talk to guys like that. They didn't want like the opposite sex was commingling too much. They would, they did not like that. But uh, it was fun. We had beasts, we had fests. Like I can't really get into in depth with certain things because it's training um, and you just have to be there to know about it. Um, but I am going to be uploading my like, BMT video so that might give you like a glimpse of what I went through. You might see my face a couple times but uh. That was that was the main thing. Like BMT was, I I had so much fun with BMT. I can honestly say that it's so much fun. And that was the main thing. Like I just maybe rethink life a few times, but for the most part, I'm glad I did it. I'm gonna cut the rest of the other questions short for the simple fact that they got personal for whatever reason. Um, you know, I'm not even gonna I'm not even get into that. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much like my experience at BMC. Like it's, 
how can I say it? It's just one of those things that when you do it, you can't just quit because it's not a not regular nine to five job. It's the government. You got to get the government. But it's you have to know that you want to do it from like get go. You have to. You can't second guess like oh priority joining. You know mm, I want to but I don't want to so I'm gonna go join. No because. It's, just, it's, it's meant to stress you out. Me personally, it did not really stress me out that much. It did, but it didn't. It only stressed me out because little tedious things like, I don't know, freaking coordinated arm swings or like getting in step with the fight. Like it's just small things like those that make you be like, okay, it's not that serious. Or somebody's talking to you and you forget to say your reporting statement and they light you up for it. I'm just like, can I just answer the question? I feel like me adding this reporting statement is just, it's extra, it's asinine. But for the most part, like I just, I met some great people. Um, my experience, I'm glad I did it, but I'm glad I got it over with. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I had a lot of other questions. So feel free to comment if I did not answer your question or if you have any more questions, just feel free to comment. I am very active with my subbies, so do so, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible with answering what I can. Um, also understand that certain questions I may not be able to answer due to security reasons. OPSEC, I'll drop the definition of that in there. Um, in my last video, it kinda, I'm gonna drop a definition of it in there so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm waiting to upload this other video. Hopefully, I can upload it by tonight. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And if you have any more questions, do what I said, you know, comment box or whatever. Also, make sure you follow me on my social media, which will always be down there in the description box. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So, I'm going to go. Oh, I think I'm going to. This is weird. I don't know what we're going to do with my life now. I might go watch TV, I guess. Eat. I'm still trying to get used to civilian life again. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be weird.